Socratic questioning is based on the foundation that thinking has structured logic and allows underlying thoughts to be questioned. Socrates, the early Greek philosopher, believed that disciplined practice of thoughtful questioning enabled the student to examine ideas logically and to determine the validity of those ideas. The Socratic method is a form of cooperative dialogue where the teacher draws out knowledge from students without directly imparting knowledge through probing and thoughtful questions. These questions are used to explore and investigate the values, principles and beliefs of the students and moves beyond simply remembering facts and demands that students account for their answers through justifying and testing those answers. This kickstarts a dialogue between the teacher and the students, enabling the students to formulate and justify answers for themselves. Just like a vacuum manufacturer would quality test their cleaners under various scenarios and environments before releasing them to market, Socratic questioning quality tests the students' ideas, answers and assumptions, allowing for deeper learning to occur. When used effectively, Socratic questioning is a compelling technique for exploring issues, ideas, emotions and thoughts and allows misconceptions to be addressed and analysed at a deeper level than routine questioning. So how do you go about using Socratic questioning in your sessions? The Socratic method usually follows a three-step process. Step 1. We pose a question to the students. Step 2. The students propose an answer. And step 3. We evaluate the answer by asking further probing questions. In practice, it might look like this. You could start with a five-minute question exploring the main theme of the lesson. For example, in a fashion design lesson, you could ask, thinking about gender, race, body size and body position, is there a lack of diversity represented in fashion magazines? Although students may not have studied this topic before, they can draw on their prior knowledge to identify potential answers. You could encourage them to express their ideas first in pairs, then as a class, and reiterate that the process is more important than finding a right answer. Probe students' understanding with further queries. Always try to answer a student's question with another question, as it's their ideas and answers that are important, not yours. Next, move on to look at more analytical tasks, for example, Analyse the impact of gendered representation in fashion publications on non-binary consumers. Students could work individually, in pairs or in small groups, along with the aid of stimulus material in the form of an article or a video clip, to provide context and evidence without giving answers. After students feed back to the rest of the class and discuss further, the final stage of the lesson could develop students' evaluative skills by applying their learning to a case study. For example, evaluate how effectively Magazine X has represented their diverse readership within their publication. How might this impact sales? Here, students need to draw connections between what they have learned in the lesson and prior knowledge to make a balanced critique and form judgments. By using Socratic questioning, teachers encourage independent thinking in their students who gain ownership of what they are learning and makes it more meaningful to them. And through discussion, analysis and debate, students are using their higher order thinking skills. The Socratic method is not only effective at encouraging critical thinking in the classroom, but it also assists with an appreciation for diverse styles of thought. There are six typical types of Socratic questions all designed to assist with critical thinking. Each will likely be used in different ways depending on the situation. Clarifying concepts. These questions get students to think more about what they are asking or thinking about, prove the concepts behind their argument and get them to go deeper. With questions like, what exactly does this mean? How does this relate to what we've been talking about? Can you give me an example? Probing assumptions. These questions make students think about the presuppositions and unquestioned beliefs on which they are founding their arguments. So questions such as, what else could we assume? And 
What would happen if? Probing rationale, reasons and evidence. When students give a rationale for their arguments, dig into that reasoning rather than assuming it is a given by asking, why is that happening? What evidence is there to support what you are saying? Questioning viewpoints and perspectives. Most arguments are given from a particular position. So interrogate that position. Show that there are other equally valid viewpoints. Who benefits from this? Why is it better than or different from? Probing implications and consequences. The argument a student gives may have logical implications that can be forecast with questions such as, does the data make sense? Are they desirable? What do these assertions fit with? What are the consequences of that assumption? And questioning the question. You can also get metacognitive about the whole thing, turning the question on itself. Bounce the ball back into their court. Why do you think I asked this question? What does that mean? Socratic questioning can be an effective way to explore ideas in depth. These types of questions may take some practice on the part of both the student and the teacher. But by using Socratic questioning, teachers promote independent thinking in their students and give them ownership of what they are learning.